Okay, I'm coming at you with another video to show you what else I got for Christmas. I already told y'all, I was dang good this year, okay? And Santa rewarded me. So here's what I got. And I know, I know you're going to be like, are you serious? Because you've had one and you sold it. Okay, but I didn't have it in this one and had the monogram. I got me the Petite No Way in the monogram print. Yes, it's true. A while back, several months ago, I had the Petite No Way in the Black Epi. And I did sell it because, you know, it wasn't big enough. And I don't know, it just... But what happened was, after I sold the bag, our Dillard's, our local Dillard's, had a vintage trunk show thing. And they had several, you know, uh, Louis Vuittons there for sale, whatnot, and incl including this one. And so it seems so bizarre that they would would fit different, you know. But it did. I I tried it on when I was there, and I was like, okay, I don't know why this one seems different, but it does. Maybe it's because it, you know, you know, with the Epi, um, you know, it's it's all leather, and so it's just it, there's not a lot of give, you know, what I'm saying like it's just a lot more stiff. Whereas this is not. This is, you know, pretty flexible and, I mean, you know, as flexible as, as a canvas can be. But, um, anyway, so the measurements, though, as y'all probably already know, are 10 by 10, which I know right off the bat. For me, anything under, like, 15 inches is iffy. Um, but I was remembering that my Speedy 35 works just fine. It's 13.7. And I think, you know, what makes that, if a bag is not quite that wide, in my opinion, where it make where you can make up for it is with the depth. So the speedy bag, as you know, is seven inches deep. Okay, that's pretty deep, and so everything will fit. Well, on this thing, even though it's not very wide, it's like eight inches deep. So it will fit. Plus, you know, it's like a. I mean, you know the bag. It it her hips. It's got. There's just. It's like a bag. So everything can fit in here quite nicely. So I actually have been carrying it. I got it before Christmas. Also, no wait. Did I get it before Christmas? No, I, it was actually waiting on me when I got back. And so I've been using it for a week. And um, I really like it. I, I just, I bought one that was a little bit older so I wouldn't have to be so freaked out about, you know, the leather because I did have the uh, No Way GM and, I, and it was in great condition. Oh my gosh, it was so wonderful. It was such a beautiful bag. But I, I couldn't handle, y'all know me, I, if it has all that Vachetta leather on there that's, you know, on a, like a newer bag, I can't, I can't do it. And with that, you know, having that trimmer on the bottom and oh my gosh, it drove me crazy. I, I couldn't enjoy the bag. I was too worried about the leather. But this one, uh, you know, it's worn in a little bit, still in great condition, but um, it's worn in a little bit. And I don't know, I, it doesn't have that trim. It just has the canvas, which I really like. So that way when I bump stuff, um, cause I, I, I tend to be a little clumsy y'all. I don't know, I, it's in my jeans. Um, I could never be a bank robber cause I'd be thrashing around like a, you know that saying, a bull in a china closet. Yeah. So uh, when I bump stuff, you know, I'm just bumping the canvas. And to me, that is just better than bumping the leather. You know, I don't know, whatever. Neither one of them is ideal, but in my opinion. So I'm just going to put in everything that I, you know, that I carry. And like I said, oh, another thing that makes a difference is when I had that Petite Noe in the Black Epi, um, I was still carrying the Truce 23 as my organizer. And that thing's kind of chunky and it's thick. And so then I downsized to a Truce 18 which helps, but even the Truce 18 is chunky. I mean, those are just chunky bags. So I just decided that I was just gonna get all um, pochettes. So I have the regular pochette, or the accessory pochette, and then this other one that um, probably came with the bag because it's not, it's not the size of a regular pochette, but it's not a mini. See, here's the regular on top, here's the one that I was just saying I got, and then here's the mini. So, it's like in between. It's perfect. Because I don't really carry around like makeup. I just have essentials in it. Um, you know, meds, uh, toothpicks, mirror, lotion, and femme products. And hand sanitizer. That's all I keep in here. And it's, it's perfect. Perfect fit. So when you just have all pochettes inside your bag, dang, that makes a whole lot of difference. So anyway, let me put everything in it. Okay, so I have my regular pochette. Uh, the one that's in the middle, the mid-size. Again, I don't think you can buy it that way. It probably came with the bag. Uh, it was like inside of the bag. And then the mini. My full-size wallet, Sarah wallet. And the Bernie. And you already know, my ratchet lip gloss case. My handy-dandy notebook. It's just a small one. It's like a, 
uh, you know, remember the pictures, the uh, three and a half by five, I think they were? It's like that. So it's not real big. And I do have a calendar. I don't have it down here. I just got it and I haven't transferred all my info on it. And then my little um, Kleenex holder thing. And my newest thing, another thing I got before Christmas. This was not, I did not need this. I didn't. I thought it would be nice to have like a little container to put my pens. My pens were feeling left out. I mean, everything else in my bag had a movie to be placed into except for my pens. And so they were like, Angela, you really, we really need something to, uh, we, we need uh, another SLG. You need to get an SLG to put us in because we're lonely. So that's what I did. And so I, yeah, I just have my little pens in here. And this thing is actually quite bigger than what I thought. You look at it in pictures and even, probably even watching this video, it doesn't look like it's that big. But it's, it's actually kind of chunky in my opinion. In fact, I might be able to put my sunglasses in it. Um, the ones that I, I don't get, I don't wear expensive sunglasses because I'm kind of hard on them. So, and let me grab them and see if they'll fit. These are just my cheapy, my cheapy aviators. And like I said, I'm hard on sunglasses, so I don't really like to buy. I did get a nice pair for Christmas and I can't keep them because they're too nice. Um, okay. Uh, I probably would not put these in here because it's a, it's a tight fit. So maybe if you had those really skinny reading glasses, I bet you those would fit in here. I don't have those yet. <laughs> but for now, I just put my pens back in here. They like it. They already told me. See? And so, yeah, um, this will fit in there. I can just stand it up. And just put this little thing. I like this little thing, though. Seriously. If you, I mean, they're not expensive. You know, these things pre-loved. They're a steal. Okay, so I'll put that in here. And, of course, my big old pound of gum. And that's it. So, here you go. Okay, petite. No way. Look at that. Oh, it's great. I'm telling you, I, I have said several times to myself all week, dang, I love this bag. I, I like it. And I know, I know what you're saying. You're laughing. Because you know that I almost say that, or that I say that about almost every bag. And it's true. When I first get them, I'm so dang excited and I think I'm going to love it. And then I test drive it and then I find all these things wrong with it and then I put it up for sale. That's what I do. Okay? Sorry. I'm cuckoo. No one said I wasn't. So yeah, here we go. Okay, I'm walk away. This is just such a great everyday casual bag. It's easy to get into um, on the adjustable strap. Uh, let's see. I think it does have six. Again, I have it on a happy medium. I have it on three. That works for me because I can still access it like this and I can get stuff out. You know, if I'm at the register and they say, okay, we need to see your ID and I go, okay. And so I can blah, blah, blah. And when I'm done, I can just pop it back in here. Boom, done. Um, it has a D-ring, which I told you, I love D-rings. I, I almost cannot live without a D-ring. In fact, I, that's kind of like one of my new things. If the back doesn't have a D-ring, I'm not sure I can get it. Um, because I love it so much. I, if it, and especially with this bag, there is no inside pocket. There is no slip pocket. There's no zipper pocket. Okay, if you don't have, if I don't have at least one of those kind of pockets, I must have a D-ring. That's all there is to it. So yeah, there's a D-ring, which I, like I said, I use it religiously. I, there's a video that talks about how you can, uh, you know, permanently tie this bag and you can access it easy. You know, you don't have to tie it. It's got this special little knot. See? And there's a video on it, and I can't remember the girl's name, but if you pull up on YouTube, uh, you know, LV knot or something, you'll find it. And, it, yeah, you basically you, you can loosen it and tighten it without untying it. You just pull it. See? So she's tight, and then she's loose. Perfect. I like it. And, yeah. So this has been, okay, I was going to see if there's anything else. You know, it's kind of a pain, I'm not going to lie. Because there's not an inside pocket or an outside pocket, my phone. Okay, so I have to just tell myself, like, for example, the front of the bag is where the, the, the drawstring is. So I tell myself, put your phone in the front of the bag. That way, I always know where my phone is. So even though there's not a pocket, I still put it in the same place. That way I'm not, you know, dragging or spending so much time trying to figure out where it is. So, yeah, petite, no way. So far, I am really, you know what, another thing that I have kind of determined over these last, well, especially for some reason, like in December, is I am just really drawn to some of the older staple bags. I love the Speedies. 
Um, I really like this bag. And I know the Raspel's not like a staple bag. I don't even make it anymore. But I love that tote. I love that tote so much. So she'll come out in the spring. But for now, I, I, I like this. Um, this is good. I don't know if I'm going to finish wearing it or using it in the winter. Um, I really, I bought this other DE bag that I'm going to do a separate video on. Hmm. And um, I, I was, you know, here's the deal. I was going to get a Speedy, another Speedy 35 in the DE. I had made up my mind. That's what I was going to do. And then at the last minute, I changed my mind and I got this. And it's the Rivington, the Rivington GM. And why didn't I just get the Speedy? I don't know. But anyway, I um, have another video. Actually, I already did a video. I did a reveal video on this, and so you can see. It's very, the measurements are very comparable to a Speedy 35. So there's not a whole lot of difference, and it's got these nice handles. So you kind of go, well, why wouldn't you want that? Because you can put it over your winter coat, you know? Okay, that's another video. I'm sorry. All right, so yeah, petite, no way. I give it a thumbs up. Okay, bye!